where this is one of the most bizarre things I've seen. Chef Will Rinaldi and staff at the Sunset Grill are working to clean up this mess now that the boat is out of their building. They're counting their blessings. This crash wasn't deadly. Our banquet manager, her office is directly there. Um, she thankfully took the day off. Um, I think she might be moving her desk now so that her back won't be to the water on another foggy day. After the crane removed the boat, it had very little damage. Not the case for the building. Crews are boarding up the gaping hole and removing part of the roof so it doesn't collapse. Workers tell me it looks like the structural integrity of the restaurant is intact. Hey, Matt. I talked with the boat's captain, Matt Santiago, who tells me he doesn't want to comment on the crash right now. He's been cited by investigators for reckless driving, going too fast in the fog. The fine, you know, could be up to $1,000. Is that enough? You know, talk to the owner of this restaurant and people that don't have jobs, it might not be enough to them. I know he knows the waters really well, but with that fog, I couldn't even see the end of the dock. Uh, so it was really bad. The boat's owner, Jeff Willis, was also on board along with Santiago and five others when the boat missed the channel markers and emerged from the fog. Friends tell me Willis had been looking down at the GPS when the boat rammed into the restaurant. Tonight, he's not talking about the crash either. Meanwhile, workers are trying to keep their spirits up, knowing this could have been tragic. At the end of the day, you know, it's, it's not a drive through you know, park your boats at the pier and walk over. Workers wonder if the marina puts lights on these channel markers, if that would prevent this from happening again.